we are going to learn about acids, bases and neutralization. First we have to know some examples for acids. Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, etc. All acids commonly give H plus ions in their aqueous solutions. These H plus ions are responsible for acidic nature of the acids. Now, some examples for bases. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide, etc. All bases commonly give OH- ions in their aqueous solutions. These OH- ions are responsible for basic nature of the bases. Hence, we define acids and bases as the substance which give H plus ions in their aqueous solution is called acid. The substance which give OH minus ions in their aqueous solution is called base. Indicators helps us to identify whether the substance is either acid or base. Acid base indicators are dyes or mixtures of dyes. They are blue litmus paper, red litmus paper, methyl orange solution and phenophthalene solution. We can identify acidic nature of a substance by using blue litmus paper. Why? Because acid turns blue litmus to red. Observe here, we are going to add a drop of HCl to blue litmus. What happened here? Blue litmus turns to red. Now we are going to test with acetic acid. Here also blue litmus turns to red. That means as it's turn blue litmus to red. As well as we can identify basic nature of a substance by using red litmus paper. Why? Because bases turns red litmus to blue. Observe here, we are going to test red litmus in calcium hydroxide solution. What happened here? Red litmus turns to blue. Next, we are going to do the same test by using magnesium hydroxide. Here also red litmus turns to blue. That means all bases turns red litmus to blue. In our daily life, we use different kinds of acids. For example, 
lemon has citric acid buttermilk has lactic acid while tamarind and grapes have tartaric acid based on these examples we noticed that acids are sour to taste as well as bases are also used in our daily life for example bath soaps contain potassium hydroxide while detergents contain sodium hydroxide based on these examples we noticed that bases are bitter to taste and soapy to touch next we are going to do methyl orange and phenolphthalein tests for these tests we have to prepare acid and base solutions here we are going to prepare solutions of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide observe carefully now we are going to add methyl orange solution to both acid and base solutions what happened here as it turns methyl orange into red color base turns methyl orange into yellow color then phenolphthalein test what happened here acid does not turn phenolphthalein into any color but base turns phenolphthalein into pink color now we are going to remind the differences between acids and bases acids give h plus ions in their aqueous solutions while bases give oh minus ions acids are sour to taste and have corrosive nature bases are bitter to taste and have soapy touch acids turns blue litmus to red while bases turns 
red litmus to blue. Acids do not turn phenolphthalein into any color, while bases turn phenolphthalein into pink color. Acids turn methyl orange into red color, while bases turn yellow color. Here, we take about 10 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution. On adding phenolphthalein solution, it gives pink color. Observe carefully. Now we are going to add hydrochloric acid solution drop by drop to this solution. What happening here? Is there any color change? Pink color disappeared. Why did the color disappear? Can you guess the answer? This is due to neutralization. If we add a drop of sodium hydroxide solution to this mixture, pink color reappears. Why did the pink color reappear? Because the solution got basic nature once again. In the above activity, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and water. Salt and water are neutral. That means both the acid and base lose their natures. So, Acids and bases react together to form salt and water. This process is called neutralization. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.